Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Love, Death, and Robots, Night of the Many Dead. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry is going to do his best work behind the scenes in just a moment. This one's set at 6 minutes and 54 seconds from the, the spot I'm at right now. So I'm going to let Jerry go ahead and get to work, and we're going to hop right into it. If you want to watch the full uncut thing, head on over to Netflix. All right, let's do it. Night of the Many Dead. This is like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, like a stop motion type deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh la la. Okay, okay. I wonder if the people that made, uh, they have a YouTube channel that makes stuff like this. They did the the tiny Elden Ring, and it looked like this, but it was Elden Ring play sets. I wonder if they had anything to do with this. I love shit like this. I think this is really cool. Mm, mm, ooh la la. Yeah. Listen, if you want to go fuck in a graveyard, that's cool. If you want to have sex in a church, I don't really care. Just don't knock over people's heads. Oh my good. Oh my word. Just don't knock over people's headstones is the thing that I'm saying. Like, you just don't have to do that. Everything else, unless they're a fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? You can knock the, but like these, no, like that's, that's somebody's, that's somebody's mammal's headstone you just knocked over. She probably just loved baking fucking cookies and making fresh sweet lemonade. I don't know if I can show that. I'm going to show the part of it like breaking over and going into the thing on YouTube, but I don't think I can show them them little baby strokes they were laying in. Oh my word. They were getting it. I like it. Kind of a, almost a Zamboni feel from the Deadpool movie, which was a great scene, by the way. Look at this. I would love to be somewhere like this. They just got this building. They got this temple on top of a mountain like that. Oh, man. I just realized, by the way, that there is no audio coming through. Change that real quick. You haven't missed anything audio-wise. Actually, this is what you missed. Hold on. 4.15. Oh, man. All right. Shoot him in the dick. He said shoot him in the dick. Oh no. Don't got the government involved, bro. They're gonna nuke their own people in a moment's notice. Not the biggins. They got some big mother lovers coming out of that one, bro. Look at that big guy right there. Big jolly green giant mother lover coming up, blowing green fireballs on people. Not the penguins. Oh. Wow. Somebody pooed it. So, I mean, what? wow. That was it. There's two minutes of credits. That's fucking really intense. And I know that while that was only five minutes of actual thing, that probably took them forever to make. Literally forever. Just a little bit of sex at a graveyard. Two people getting their fucking dinglings touching each other. And now you done knocked over a, a sacred church. Green fire spews down. Zombie apocalypse. Was the nut even worth it? Did you even finish? What was the point for it? Did both of you finish? Because if both people don't finish, what's the point? Listen. They, uh... You know what I miss? I, I, let me go and talk about this real quick. This was great. Uh, a bit of unholy cemetery sex ends badly, kicking off a worldwide zombie plague. 
it's the cutest apocalypse you'll ever see. It was a pretty cute apocalypse. And the president just said, fuck it, and launched every nuke around the world because why wouldn't the U.S. president have a code to every nuke all over the globe? Besides that, this was fun as fuck. I love this. It was super adorable. By far the cutest apocalypse I've ever seen. Now, let's, let's, uh, I have a point I want to make real quick. I miss cheesy zombie movies. Like Ash versus Evil Dead and stuff. I mean, that's kind of fun. But I mean, like, um, oh my God, I just lost the name of it. Sean and Penn. Isn't that the names of the peeps? Or just the, those type of movies where it's like just people surviving in a zombie apocalypse. And most of them are really cheesy. They have comedy work thrown into it. Or they're more serious and it's a, a, a scarier thing. I kind of miss those those lame ones. And they're not really lame. I think all those movies are, are great movies, but yeah. It sucks. Uh, Matt Damon made a point where it was like movies nowadays, back in the day, you could make a movie and it could not make its revenue back in the movie theater because it would then make more revenue at rental services or DVD purchases, VHS purchases, etc. And now that everything's a streaming service, you pretty much have to make your money back in the theatrical release itself. And a lot of those movies, like, um, it's the only name I can think of off the top of my head, Ash of the versus Evil Dead, or Night of the Living Dead, was that the one? There's one where they end up in a mall. Those type of movies normally don't do well in the theater. People go and see it, and it's fun. Those are movies you watch on your couch. So while they are making a little bit of money through streaming services, you're just paying 20 bucks a month or whatever it is to watch unlimited things, compared to going to spend 20 bucks on one individual thing and the company getting that profit. So that's why they don't make as many cheesy romantic comedies, horror movies, etc. Everything now has to be a big blockbuster theatrical thing to get people in, get them in the theater to make their money because they're not making that much off the streaming end. Just a side tangent. I just miss those old movies. And this reminded me of that. And I would watch, uh, I would say I'd watch a full-fledged version of this, but that was it. I, I would watch a fun zombie movie, man. But anyways, I don't want this to drag out too long because we already did. <laughs> it was just five minutes. So that was Night of the Night of the Living Dead's why I thought of it. It's literally called Night of the Many Dead. I hate myself. On that note, we're going to go ahead and head out. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Don't fuck in a holy cemetery and cause a zombie apocalypse. If you do so, have sex in your car or on the ground. Don't knock over headstones, all right? It's rude. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.